right, you know, there's nothing better than a perfect boutique of bouquet of flowers at home. From the pop of color to the sweet smells, you really can't beat that. We mm -hmm. all love our flowers. Yeah, and it's such a fun way to play with what's in season. And here with tips to do just that, our best friend duo and founders of Rococo Floral, Ooh. Julia and Claudia. Hi, Hi. ladies. Best <laughs> friends and yes. business owners. Yes. That's yeah. so yeah. fun. We're so happy to be And work here. wives. We and work wives. <laughs> Tell us about Rococo. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Rococo. Yeah, so we're located in Somerville in Union Square. We have a really cute shop there. Mm -hmm. um, and we do orders, pickups, deliveries, and we also do a lot of events. Yeah. So many weddings. Yes. So <laughs> many. So you have beautiful arrangements, but you also teach people how we can make them at home, which is what we get to do with you today, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Get so I see some tools, some beautiful products. Walk us through yeah. Yeah. again. So we'll tell you what to start with. Basically, you need a, a cute vase, which you can honestly use like a bowl in your house, or if you have yeah. Teak fine that has just been. I like this it. idea. I wouldn't even have thought because yeah. it's so short. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it goes out and it yeah. goes in. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. One thing but people. This, I think, is the big secret. Yes. This is the secret. The chicken wire. Yes. So the chicken wire is something we use instead of flower foam, which is that green block mm -hmm. that you're using because that's like, doesn't break down. It's really bad for the earth. Yeah. This you can get at the hardware store. You can use it over and over and over. Smart. So it also gives like that kind of like delicate quality we like to our yeah. entrance. Um, so is it something that you just form to fit the, yes. the vessel that you Normally choose? it comes in like long sheets, but you can cut it to the size you want and just like crinkle it, it up. in there. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And then it'll there. give it some structure. Exactly. Okay, so in terms of what flowers we should be thinking about this time, a year. Do yes. you have some tips? Oh, okay. So that's great because um, like foraging has been a big trend lately. <laughs> yeah, I like, like to see all forest out there <laughs> in the woods like we've been doing Let the too. colors of the season inspire <laughs> exactly. you. Yes. So totally. we've brought some elements. This is like an evergreen um, called Carolina Sapphire. Some leaves over here that you can just go into your yard. I've got plenty of these at home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go, yeah, go into our yard. Don't want to see. Um, <laughs> and then you can just cut some down and make the base of your arrangement. Mm -hmm. so, Starting with like an evergreen base or something yeah, that has a little yeah. more structure to it. Okay. Exactly. Yes. This is good for the season too. It's going to last a really long time as well. And then yeah. you just use a little waterproof tape to lock exactly in yes you can buy this florist tip at like Michael's or your local craft store okay, okay. and basically we use this to kind of keep the chicken wire in the vase yeah, got it because down. yeah as you kind of start finagling with this you might pull the whole thing yeah. out so this is nice to keep it secure now, what about tips for keeping the flowers healthy sometimes you get a beautiful yeah. okay and then they're, it lasts they're gone. a day totally. yeah. yeah so yeah it varies per flower. Um, the ones we chose today are like a little bit longer lasting. Mm -hmm. So you can, if you want it to last a long time, choose like carnations, mums, snapdragons. Those are all going to last a long time. Roses. Um, but you can also change out the water and that will help. Also, Clean water is like the biggest above like flower food or anything. As long as the water is nice and clean, they'll be happy. And swap it out. Exactly. Daily. Yeah. Okay, so it if doesn't need a good to flower mom. Sprite or vodka, no, like some of the white I mean, try. We're always looking for <laughs> That's the kind of so. <laughs> um, Okay, so these have been foraged. What about when it comes to store bought? You mentioned the yes. carnations. So and these the are like some good grocery store flowers you could pick up anywhere. Trader Joe's, we appreciate that. Mm -hmm. And then we have some more special varieties at mm -hmm. our store. Yeah. So, you know, you can go to a florist Fun. and at our store we have a flower bar so you can choose a few stems. Mm -hmm. And you're in the same tone. So mm -hmm. I feel like oh, that elevates. So it with the pink. Definitely, like yeah. Colors. Yeah, picking yeah. colors that are in the same kind of color wheel and complement each other yeah. does like raise it up and make can, it look a little more luxe. Can you show us how you did that fold over with the yes. tulip? Yes, sure. So this is a tulip. Um, it originally looked like this. So we d it's called reflexing, which yeah. is when you kind of pop the petals out on a flower. So what I'm going to do with my tulip is, falling along, perfect. I'm going to just kind of reach my thumb under here and flip the petal back. Look at that. Do it again. Oh, flip I it back. I've done this with roses. Back. But yeah. I never oh, even thought yes. to do that with a tulip. And voila, it looks like a totally different it does. flower. It's like and Pilates for a tulip. For sure. <laughs> gentle. And we did it, like you said, you've done it with a rose before. We yeah. did it with a rose here Gorgeous. as well. And then down That's here, cool. voila, through the magic of television. Boom. Here's our finished product. Yes. Gorgeous, so gal. Gorgeous. Yes. Thank, Thank you so much. much. <laughs> and it might not look just like this, but that's okay. The points have fun. Yes. Have and fun with creative, it. And so. you know what? I feel like I blend right in here. <laughs> you do. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a flower today. Thank you for all so much. Thank